Toyo Ishida's adaptation of Vampire Hunter D is a feature-length anime film based on the series of novels written by Hideyuki Kikuchi, centering on the titular D, a dampier, half-vampire, half-human, who serves the role of that like a bounty hunter, a hunter for hire, not dissimilar to a vampiric samurai. The initial impression his character gives is one of intimidation and mystery, wearing a long cape, all in black, and a hat which covers his face, making him a somewhat enigmatic character. However, when when Dee by the young Doris, an independent farmhand wrangler living with her younger brother, is requested to kill the vampire who bit her, Dee is gradually revealed to be a character with a sense of empathy, compassion, and protectiveness that makes him a surprisingly warmer character than the initial impression of him gave. Being a dampier, Dee is the epitome of vampiric stereotyping while also embracing what it means to be human, therefore challenging such stereotyping. Long fangs and fully dressed in black, complemented by Dee's sense of responsibility and compassion makes him an engaging fusion of traditional gothic horror and relatable humanity. His character has the strengths of vampirism and humanity, making him a powerful opponent and an easily appealing protagonist. Even at times when Dee is cold, revealing very little about himself, he is not a character willing to reveal too much of his origins outside of vague implications and suggestions. He still manages to remain likeable as he aims to protect those in need. Vampire Hunter D is primarily a gothic inspired action adventure, but elements of science fiction and the western genre are also apparent. D rides a cyborg stallion. Technology such as neon signs exists in a world that feels ancient and desolate, implying that aspects of technology have survived from some kind of pre-desolation world. D also serves as a hunter for hire, like that of a bounty hunter often depicted within the western genre. Vampire Hunter D is a celebration of genre tropes, fusing unlikely mixtures and creating something whole distinctive to its own exciting world building. The character of Doris, a young woman who requests the help of Dee, is also a fascinating one. Although her costume is revealing, typical of anime produced at this time, her personality is independent and strong-willed. Even when she is a target of harassment, she demands that things are undergone on her own terms. From a jealous, spoilt man who threatens to reveal that Doris was bitten by a vampire, to the whole town, resulting in Doris cracking her whip and easily flooring him, to Doris demanding that she just be murdered to avoid being turned into a vampire and marrying a vampire noble. She is a character who is certainly determined and adamant on getting what she needs. She is an admirable character, a somewhat feminist representation who demonstrates a strong sense of skill in defending herself, only limited by the fact that she is a mere human risking her life against vampiric forces of malevolence. Through the medium of animation, Vampire Hunter D achieves impossible spectacles, from leaps mid-flight so high that the moon is used in the background to scale the jump, and showers of blood after piercings made by incredibly lengthy blades to fantastically unthinkable beasts and monsters that fill the world. Many of these spectacles are beautifully animated, making it incredibly effortless to develop an appreciation for this film's heightened, extravagant displays of violence and horror. Some aspects of violence may be similar to those seen in other anime productions, and even classic samurai films, such as a single single sword slice through an enemy, leaving them to split in half due to how clean such a cut can be. Although this scene of extravagant violence may be reminiscent of scenes of violence in earlier films, it is no less impressive within Vampire Hunter D. Violence aside, Vampire Hunter D also offers other exciting animated sequences that demonstrates how impressive the film is visually. An animated example of a time-lapse zooming days, likely weeks and months ahead, as a castle falls into a gorge, scenes of recollection flash behind a character who delivers exposition that would otherwise just simply be a single character talking at the audience. Werewolves and monsters stalk the night as a young woman, Doris, attempts to protect her horse. The film sense and skill for portraying scenes in the most visually exciting manners is certainly admirable. There are very few dull moments within the film, as most scenes offer something to appreciate visually. In conclusion, Toyu Ashida's adaptation of Vampire Hunter D is an engaging cult favourite that many anime fans will find effortless to appreciate. From its engaging central characters and embrace of a variety of genre conventions, to its impressive animated violence and spectacle, Vampire Hunter D is a gem that should not be missed.